Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone of you. So until the last class, we have seen the mass transfer coefficients. So now we will see how to uh, measure this mass transfer coefficient using wetted wall tower. So that is an experimental setup. Wetted wall tower is nothing but an experimental setup in which a mass transfer coefficient can be measured. So how to measure that one? We will see. So this is estimation of mass transfer coefficient using wetted wall tower. So using empirical correlations, empirical correlations you already know, that's the standard correlations or standard relationships. Using this one, particularly this equation is suitable for this case. So case one is mass transfer to pipe walls in case of turbulent flow. So in case of this uh, particular uh, region only, this uh, equation is valid, which is SH. SH means shareholder number. Shareholder number is equal to 0 0.023 NRE power. NRE means uh, Reynolds number. Power 0.8 SC means Smith number. So SC power 1 by 3 into nu by nu w, where nu is the viscosity of a liquid or uh, whatever the medium, mass transfer medium, and this nu w is the viscosity of wall. Okay, power 0.14. Then second case is evaporation of liquid in wetted wall tower. In this particular case, this equation is valid, which is share root number is equal to 0 0.023, uh, Reynolds number power 0.8, Smith number power 0.44. Then the third case is mass transfer over a flat sheet. Okay, if the mass transfer is taking place over a flat sheet, we can use this share root number is equal to 0.664 into NREL. So Reynolds number with respect to length this is. So NRE Reynolds number, we know that dv bar rho by nu. But NREL means LB bar rho by nu instead of D. Why? Because for the flat sheets, no diameter will be there. Only the length and width will be there for the flat sheets. So that's why it is NREL okay, with respect to length. Power 1 by 2, Smith number power 1 by 3. So all these expansions I have given here. Share root number, SH is a share root number, which is K is mass transfer coefficient into diameter of the tube or the pipe divided by DAB is a diffusivity. KD by DAB is nothing but share root number. Then NRE is nothing but Reynolds number DV bar rho by nu, where small d is the diameter of that wall or tube and V bar is a velocity. Then rho is the density of the fluid and viscosity. Uh, nu is the viscosity of the fluid. Then SC is the Smith number in which nu is the viscosity, rho is the density into DAB is the diffusivity. Nu by rho DAB is nothing but Smith number. Then NREL is nothing but same as Reynolds number, only in place of this diameter, especially for the flat sheet, no diameter will be there. So only length and breadth will be there. So same here, the diameter is replaced with length, L V bar rho by V nu. L is nothing but length of that sheets and V bar is nothing but velocity and rho is viscosity and mu is, uh, rho is density and mu is viscosity. And where this nu by nu w is nothing but viscosity correction factor. Nu by nu w power 0.14 is nothing but viscosity correction factor in which mu w is the viscosity of a wall. This mu is a fluid property, whereas this nu w is the viscosity of your wall. Okay, this one. Then next one, the experiment. How to conduct an experiment in the wetted wall tower? We'll see in detail that one. So before that, I will once again explain explain you this correlation. These are standard correlations. You have to remember that one. So estimation of okay, mass transfer coefficient, MTC I am writing, mass transfer coefficient using wetted wall tower. Using wetted wall tower. So to estimate that one, there are standard correlations. Some correlations are there. Okay, these correlations are only applicable for specific cases. So for example, the first case is nothing but your mass transfer. Whatever there in the slide, I'm once again explaining to you. So mass transfer to pipe walls in case of turbulent flow for this. Uh, for this particular case only, that is applicable. Okay, that equation is applicable, which is share root number is equal to SH is equal to 0 
Reynolds number RE power 0.8 and Smith number power 1 by 3 into viscosity correction factor nu by nu w 0.14. Then where shear root number is nothing but K, KD in which K is a mass transfer coefficient. D is the diameter of the tube by DAB. KD by DAB is nothing but shear root number. DAB you already know. This is diffusivity. Then NRE. NRE since this is a pipe, okay, circular pipe, we can write that D V bar rho by mu. So where D is a diameter of your tube, V bar is the velocity, rho is the density of the fluid, then mu is the viscosity of the fluid, then Smith number. SC is a Smith number. Smith number is equal to mu by rho into DAB is called Smith number. Where mu is a viscosity, rho is a density of the fluid, and DAB is the uh, diffusivity. Diffusivity. These are all the expanded variables. Combinedly, this mu by nu w is called as a viscosity correction factor. All this. Okay, including 0.14, it is called viscosity correction factor. So this is normal viscosity of the fluid, and this is viscosity of wall. Viscosity of wall. Okay, for mass transfer with respect in uh, in the pipe walls, that too in the turbulent flow, this equation is applicable. Then next next case is there case two. Case two is the mass transfer, or uh, we say this one evaporation. Okay, evaporative mass transfer. Uh, second one is evaporation of liquids in in wetted wall tower. In the wetted wall tower, if the liquid is evaporating, wetted wall tower, then in this particular case. The equation applicable is shear root number. Once again, shear root number is KD by DAB is equal to 0.023, Reynolds number power 0.8, and Smith number power 0.44. Only in this case, okay, uh, this is replaced. Okay, this this is not there. Viscosity correction factor is not there, and Smith number is 0.44. That's the difference there. So all the other variables same. Shear root number is nothing but KD by DAB. And R E is nothing but D V bar rho by mu, and Smith number is nothing but nu by rho into D A B is your Smith number. Then next one, third case is mass transfer over a flat sheet. Mass transfer over a flat sheet. So in this case, the formula applicable is correlation is. Shear root number is equal to 0.664 NRE L power 1 by 2 and Smith number power 1 by 3 is this correlation. Here, shear root number is same KD by DAB, where K is the mass transfer coefficient, D is the diameter of uh, uh, here. Okay, sorry. So this is flat sheet. No, this is flat sheet. So flat sheet means instead of D for flat sheet for pipe wall, if this is a pipe. For this one, there is a radius is there, there is a diameter is there, R and D. But for flat sheet, what happens? There will not be any uh, diameter. Length and breadth will be there. Length and breadth will be there. So that's why the shear root number is also needs to be modified. In place of this D diameter, we will keep length of the sheet. So L is equal to 0.664. Here also NRE power. NRE means NRE L this one. So here it is D V bar rho by mu. Instead of diameter, we have to use L. L V bar rho by mu. And Smith number is same. Nu by rho into D A B. Okay, where L is nothing but length of your sheet. Okay, flat sheet. Length of your flat sheet. Okay, is that correlation so okay? This you have to remember. Okay, there is no derivation for this one.
is that okay please respond yes sir okay yeah so every formula i have given here just their expansions and everything just you have to remember is what is k k means your mass transfer coefficient d is a diameter dv is the diffusivity mu is the viscosity rho is the density dv is the diffusivity and here d is once again the diameter v bar is the velocity rho is the uh, density and mu is the viscosity l is the length of the sheet v bar is the vis uh, velocity rho is the density mu is the viscosity and this nu by d w power 0.14 is the viscosity correction factor in which mu is the uh, fluid velocity uh, fluid viscosity and mu w is the viscosity of a wall that's you have to remember okay all these correlations you have to remember then how to do experiment how to conduct an experiment in the wetted wall tower we will see now okay how to conduct an experiment so for example if this is a wetted wall tower so how it will looks like Well, nothing but an adsorption column you can assume okay adsorption operation is nothing but your wetted wall tower only so what will happen in the adsorption column so there will be two uh, inlets and two outlets in this column so what are the two inlets and two outlets so adsorption is nothing but exchange of mass between gas and liquid okay gas to liquid operation means two outlet and two liquid inlets so gas will be entering counter current to the liquid so gas will be entering from the bottom of the uh, tower or wetted wall column this is gas inlet then gas will be outlet from the top of the column that is gas outlet then liquid will be entering counter current to the gas means from uh, bottom liquid gas is entering then top from the top liquid has to enter so this is liquid inlet then obviously the other outlet is for liquid outlet okay, this is nothing but an adsorption operation we can say so whenever the liquid you are transferring now it will be just coming as a small thin film according to the film theory it will be just uh, coming as a small film okay a thin film it will be depositing on the wall okay this is column wall okay on to the wall a small thin film will be formed that is of liquid whenever gas is approaching here in this film only mass transfer will takes place gas will go like this okay mass transfer will takes place after losing the more volatile uh, this uh, solute component from the gas the already purified gas will be letting outside of this gas outlet so this is the concept here but now in order to balance conduct a material balance here we have to fix the variables to fix the variable let us assume the top variables as second section and bottom variables as a first section means gas inlet okay mass flow rate of the gas is nothing but g let us say g is the mass or molar flow rate we can say molar flow rate of gas okay in uh, molar flow rate of gas is kilo mole per second or mole per second so mass flow rate of gas so g and then partial pressure of component a in the gas inlet is pa1 where pa1 is the partial pressure of component a in the gas inlet why we are writing only one here why because we have to fix this bottom variables all the bottom variables as one and all the top variables whatever whether it's a liquid or gas we have to give them as a uh, two number so that is next one then concentration of component a okay equilibrium concentration of component a in the liquid phase which is ca1 star so that is ca1 star means equilibrium concentration equilibrium concentration of component a component a in gas inlet is called ca star then in terms of mole fraction how we can express since this is a gas gas mole fraction is denoted by y 
for component a it is ya then it is bottom section is one variable we are considering so this is ya1 so where ya1 is equal to mole fraction of component a in gas inlet then equilibrium mole fraction of component a in the liquid phase can be expressed as xa1 star so that is xa1 star is nothing but mole fraction or equilibrium mole fraction equilibrium mole fraction of component a in gas inlet then similarly the next is gas outlet okay when there are inlet is bottom one we are taking outlet top we have to take as a 2 means g will be constant where l is equal to l g is equal to g flow rates we are uh, flow rates we are taking constant okay g1 g2 not like that flow rates we are taking constant inlet flow rate is uh, same as the outlet flow rate so g only then next one is pa1 okay here uh, once again this is gas yeah once again this is gas that is pa partial pressure of component a and this variable is 2 so this is pa2 then next is equilibrium concentration of component a in the gas outlet is ca2 star then comma i am writing beside that one so mole fraction of component a in the gas outlet is ya2 then equilibrium mole fraction of component a in the gas outlet is xa2 star so similarly the in the inlet of the liquid also it is l then the mole uh, what we say this concentration of component a in the liquid inlet is for the liquids concentration measurement is very easy so this is ca component a and this variable is 2 so we have to write ca2 then mole fraction of component a in the liquid inlet is xa2 then comma the equilibrium partial pressure of component a in the liquid inlet is we can write this is pa2 star then xa2 the equilibrium mole fraction of component a in the liquid inlet is ya2 star then next in the outlet is a similar l is same and concentration of component a in the liquid inlet is ca and bottom variables are one so we have to write this as one so ca1 then equilibrium partial pressure of component a in the liquid outlet is pa1 star then uh, mole fraction of component a okay component a in the liquid outlet is xa so this is one variable then equilibrium mole fraction of component a in this liquid outlet is ya uh, sorry this is okay yeah xa1 and this is uh, ya1 star this is so is this variables are clear this notations how we are fixing this one yes sir yeah then now we have to conduct a total material balance or mole balance around the tower so how to conduct that one steady state steady state component balance component balance or we can say it is a uh, mole balance balance without chemical reaction here there is no chemical reaction without chemical reaction so without chemical reaction plus to steady state means accumulation is zero and next without chemical reaction means the generation term is zero simply we can write as inlet or uh, rate of mass outlet is equal to rate of mass inlet or rate of moles inlet okay this is mole balance okay for the mass also same okay here moles we are using rate of moles outlet is equal to rate of moles inlet so what are the outlets here outlet is by looking at this symbol we can say okay arrow we can say so gas is one outlet and liquid is one outlet so that is okay g is one outlet so g into for the component a we have to write for one component we have to write that is mole fraction of component a in the inlet is g 
वै ए वन जी इंटू वै ए वन प्लस नेक्स्ट औट्लेट इज लिक्विड औट्लेट दट इज एल इंटू वी हेव टू रईट मोल फ्राक्शन आफ कांपोन ए इन द लिक्विड फेज इज एक्स ए वन दट इज एल इंटू एक्स ए वन इज ईक्वल टू टू इनलेट विल बी देर वन इनलेट इज गैस इनलेट जी इंटू मोल फ्राक्शन आफ कांपोन ए इन दि गैस इनलेट इज वै ए वन जी इंटू okay sorry this is not outlet nobody is following i think nobody is notifying this mistakes Okay, let us say, let us cancel this one. So inlets, outlets are nothing but this is one outlet. That is G into Y A two. So that is G into Okay, outlet is gas outlet is some of the inlet. Some of the outlet means gas outlet plus liquid outlet is equal to gas inlet plus liquid inlet. So this one for first gas outlet is this one. So gas outlet is G into Y A two. G into Y A two. Plus liquid outlet is this one. L into X A one. L into X A one is equal to gas inlet. So gas inlet is this one. G into Y A one. G into Y A one plus liquid inlet is this one. So L into X A two. L into X A two. Therefore. All the same variables, equal likely variables, we have to transfer on one side. So this we will carry to the LHS side, and this L will be carried to the RHS side. That is G Y A two minus G Y A one is equal to L X A two minus L X A one. Therefore, we can take common this G G. That is Y A two minus Y A one is equal to L into X A two minus X A one. Okay, this is the final mole balance or component balance equation for the total wetted wall tower. This one. Then next is we know that flux is uh, okay. This is where G is nothing but mole per unit time. Okay, rate of moles, rate of moles of component here or rate of uh, uh, mole per second. Its units. This is mole per second. We know that. What is the flux units? Can anybody say flux units? Units of flux. So please respond. Can anybody say what is the units of flux? Without units, no mass transfer. We cannot solve anything in mass transfer. So mole per meter square second is nothing but flux. So this is mole per second is nothing but g. so we can write na bar this one so this whole equation will be equal to na bar na bar so na bar will have a units of na bar will have a units of same mole per second whereas na will have a units of mole per meter square second na bar will be mole per second whereas na is mole per meter square second So that's the difference here. Then we know that flux is equal to mass transfer coefficient into driving force. We know this relationship. Similarly, here also flux is equal to 
mass transfer coefficient is equal to ko gas phase overall mass transfer coefficient kog into driving force if the driving force is pressure okay if the driving force is pressure pa1 and pa2 then we have to take for the wetted coil column it is logarithmic mean pressure difference delta p ln this is also equal to kog into if the driving force is a concentration difference or that uh, mole fraction then we can write delta y ln we know that where delta p ln is nothing but delta p1 minus delta p2 divided by ln delta p1 by delta p2 similarly delta y ln is equal to delta y1 minus delta y2 divided by ln delta y1 divided by delta y2 now what is this delta p1 delta p2 delta p uh, delta y1 delta y2 so we have to define this delta y1 delta y2 using this relationship so according to the uh, law of equilibrium so this gas outlet uh, gas inlet and this liquid outlet they are in equilibrium with each other okay these two are in equilibrium with each other then we can define a delta p1 as okay one is in bottom so delta p1 as pa1 minus pa1 star pa1 minus this one pa1 star is delta p1 why because this liquid outlet and li gas inlet both are in equilibrium then delta p2 is equal to p2 is nothing but top section this section so delta p2 is nothing but this gas outlet and this liquid inlet these two phases are in equilibrium whereas bottom these two phases are in equilibrium then we can write delta p2 is equal to pa2 this one minus pa2 star pa2 star is called as your delta p1 and delta p2 similarly we can also define delta y1 and delta y2 so what is delta y1 so delta y1 is nothing but so since this two phases are in equilibrium and this is bottom section is 1 so we can write y1 ya1 minus ya1 star is nothing but delta y1 ya1 minus ya1 star is nothing but delta y1 similarly we can define delta y2 so delta y2 is nothing but so this variable is 2 top section is a 2 then this is ya2 minus ya2 star is nothing but delta y2 that is ya2 minus ya2 star is delta y2 so same we can write here okay in place of this delta p1 and delta p2 we can write delta p1 is equal to pa1 minus pa1 star and delta p2 is equal to pa2 minus pa2 star and delta y1 is equal to ya1 minus ya1 star and delta y2 is equal to ya2 minus ya2 star so all these are the equally valid relationship in order to calculate the flux or moles per unit time so this one this relationships are very useful in this particular thing then what about the conversion of okay conversion of p to c pressure to concentration and conversion of uh, mole fraction of component uh, uh, mole fraction of um, uh, component a in the gas phase to mole fraction of component a in the liquid phase okay what is this relationship this relationship is given by henry's law as we discussed in the earlier classes henry's law is nothing but p is equal to hc where p is the partial pressure c is the concentration h is the henry's law constant then similarly for the conversion of y to x we can write y is equal to hx where y is the mole fraction in gas phase then x is the mole fraction in liquid phase 
H is same. Henry's law constant. Henry's law constant. So these two relationships are valid in order to convert this particular uh, uh, pressure to concentration and mole fraction of one phase to mole fraction of other phase. Similarly, for example, uh, here delta P1, this is there, PA1 star and PA2 star. Here, YA1 star and YA2 star. How we can define this one? PA1 star is equal to, according to Henry's law, H into CA1 and PA2 star is equal to H into CA2. So similarly, we can define for this one also. YA1 star is equal to H into XA1 and YA2 star is equal to H into XA2 using Henry's law definition. So these relationships are very much valid okay, in every uh, uh, region. So this G and L are flow rates. Okay, flow rates. Okay, in mole per second. So this is gas flow rate. This is liquid flow rate. And P is the partial pressure. We know that. Units of partial pressure is pascals. Y and X are mole fractions. Y is denoted for mole fraction of gas. X is denoted for mole fraction of liquid. So we already seen this notation schemes. Is that clear, this one? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Now we will solve problems based on these formulas. So this one, first we will try to solve using empirical correlations. That is empirical correlations, first problem. Okay, a stream of I'm reading problem, a stream of air, 100 kilopascal. So this is total pressure of a stream of air is 100 kilopascal pressure and 300 degree Kelvin. Temperature is T is 300 degree Kelvin is flowing on the top surface of the flat sheet of a solid of a solid naphthalene of length 0.2 meter. So flat sheet of naphthalene is there which is having length of 0.2 meter. Then this is the problem of flat sheet. So that correlation we have to use with a velocity of 20 meters per second. Air is moving on a flat sheet uh, at a velocity of 20 meters per second. Then this is V bar. So this is L. So mass diffusivity of naphthalene. So DAB is 6 into 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. Then kinematic viscosity new air is 1.5 into 10 power minus 5 meter square per second. Can anybody tell what is the relationship between dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity? Then concentration of naphthalene at the air solid naphthalene interface is 10, uh, 1 into 10 power minus 5 kilo mole per meter cube. So that is CAI is this one. Then calculate the ma average mass transfer coefficient over the flat sheet. The next bit is the rate of loss of naphthalene from the surface per unit width we have to calculate. So let us write the given data now. So given, so please think and tell what is the relationship between kinematic viscosity and dynamic viscosity before I am writing this uh, given data. So this is 100 kilopascal, which is pressure. Pt is equal to 100 kilopascal, comma, this 300 Kelvin is temperature, T is equal to 300 Kelvin. So flat sheet is there, a flat sheet of naphthalene is there. So it is present in solid form. So on the flat sheet, there will be flow of air is there. Air is flowing like this on top of the flat sheet. So this is air at velocity V bar is equal to 20 meters per second. It is flowing. So this air and this naphthalene interface, okay, at air and naphthalene interface means this one. Okay, at this region, the concentration of component A is CAI. So that is also they have given CAI. 
that is this one length of this particular naphthalene sheet is l is equal to 0.2 meter and the concentration of this uh, 0.2 and velocity v bar is equal to 20 meters per second length is equal to 0.2 meter uh, then the mass diffusivity which is dab is equal to 6 into 10 power minus 6 meter square per second then kinematic viscosity is nu is air is equal to 1.5 into 10 power minus 5 meter square per second then the concentration of naphthalene at the air solid naphthalene interface is cai is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 5 kilo mole per meter cube is the concentration at the interface so obviously the other concentration they have not given okay other regions so we can take ca as zero okay only interfacial concentration they have given now what correlation we have to use this is a flat sheet problem so in for the flat sheet problems the correlation valid is this correlation sh is equal to 0.664 nrel power 1 by 2 sc power 1 by 3 so the correlation we know that sherwood number is equal to for the flat sheet 0.664 rel power 1 by uh, 3 sc power 1 by 3 okay this is 1 by 2 rel power 1 by 2 rel power 1 by 2 yeah rel power 1 by 2 so now we have to estimate each and every variable so what is sherwood number sherwood number is equal to kd by dab where k is the mass transfer coefficient k into d is a diameter so here it is flat sheet so instead of diameter we have to use length so length they have already given 0.2 meter that is 0.2 meter divided by dab is already given 6 into 10 power minus 6 comma r e is r e l is equal to l v bar rho by mu so where is density density they have not given so how to estimate this density can anybody tell me kinetic viscosity equals to dynamic viscosity by density density so we can write this as v bar divided by nu by rho so this will be coming extremely denominator so we can write l v bar by nu is nothing but nrel therefore nrel is equal to l is 0.2 and v bar is 20 meters per second then kinematic viscosity they have given as air is 1.5 into 10 power minus 5 1.5 into 10 power minus 5 so this is rel and next left out is smith number so smith number is equal to nu by rho into dab so mu already is there okay nu by rho once again same so nu by rho is nothing but kinematic viscosity so this is nu in divided by dab 1.5 into 10 power minus 5 divided by dab is 6 into 10 power minus 6 so now everything we can substitute into this formula that is sherwood number is equal to k into 0.2 divided by 6 into 10 power minus 6 is equal to 0.664 into nrel base 0.2 into 20 divided by 1.5 into 10 power minus 5 power half into smith number is 1.5 into 10 power minus 5 divided by 6 into 10 power minus 6 power 1 by 3 this one so if you solve this one finally you will get the answer mass transfer coefficient k average average mass transfer coefficient k is equal to something you will get in meters per second you can check units also nre will have we don't have any units no units this is also dimensionless numbers all these are this will have no units smith number also don't have units here kd by dab all together sherwood number will not have any units 
no units but when you expand this share root number share root number is equal to kd by dab so k we are calculating this one so how to calculate k is equal to dab by d so dab we know already dab is meter square per second divided by d is meter so this one this one will be cancel therefore you will get answer in meters per second can anybody tell me the answer yeah you will get nearly this is 0.014 you will get 14 meters per second you will get this whole k okay average molecular weight this completion of part a a bit and b bit is so the rate of loss of naphthalene from the surface per unit width they have asked so rate of loss of naphthalene how to calculate that one what is rate of loss that solid sheet is there no how much this solid sheet is going to dissolve in the surrounding a they are asking that for unit length means meter so normally what happens flux is nothing but rate of loss okay flux is nothing but rate of loss of naphthalene per unit area flux means why because flux is nothing but mole per meter square second so this is mole per second is nothing but rate of loss per area unit area is flux but we want mole per meter second we want means we have to multiply this with some uh, length of the your sheet flat sheet length we have to multiply then this length will have a units of m this meter and this meter will be cancel you will get meter mole per meters per meter second that is we can define uh, na is equal to k into cai minus ca k just now we find out this one 0.014 into cai they have already provided interfacial concentration 1 into 10 power minus 5 ca is 0 1 into 10 power minus 5 minus 0 therefore you will get the answer for this one around okay 1.4024 into 10 power minus 7 you will get so flux this is so you will get this units as kilo mole per meter square second then we want a rate per unit length we want so na rate of loss of naphthalene per unit width or length whatever it may be okay width is equal to na into length so na is we already know na is 1.4024 into 10 power minus 7 into length we already know length of the sheet 0.2 this is around 0.2 so you will get so this is mole per kilo mole per meter second this one 1.4024 so you will get answer 2.8 into 10 power minus 8 kilo mole per second so this is rate of loss per unit width of your sheet so this is b bit answer for b bit any doubts Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then next one more problem we will see. So next is based on the experimental data we can say. So this one is one more problem. So here a wetted wall tower, a wetted wall column is used. to absorb nh3 by water so nh3 and water is there 
from 6 volume percentage in air the gas flow rate is 1.2 kilo mole per minute means g so 1 atma is the pressure and t is 20 degree centigrade calculate the overall mass transfer coefficient the given data is the water flow rate to gas flow rate means water is a liquid so l by g is nothing but 1.4 so here g already given 1.2 then the outlet gas concentration is 1.5 volume percentage so this is inlet this is outlet then the column height is 100 cm the height of that wetted wall column is 100 cm then diameter of that column is 2 cm henry's law constant h is equal to 1.3 so they have given that data so this is straight forward answer why because all the data required they have given here so what is the required uh, data here so a wetted wall column is there simply here like this a wetted wall column so in the wetted wall column we know that gas will be entering from the bottom so this is gas inlet then it will be leaving from the top gas outlet the liquid will be entering from the top so this is liquid inlet then liquid will be leaving from the bottom this is liquid outlet then what is the data they have given so what is l we don't know l by g they have given then xa2 we want okay top variables are two we are taking bottom variables as one so this is xa2 mole fraction of okay sorry this one is inlet so l we don't know xa uh, nearly xa2 we don't know mole fraction of this uh, component a in the liquid inlet we uh, we know i think this one okay. yeah we don't know the liquid data this one also we don't know then equilibrium mole fraction of component a in the liquid inlet which is ya2 star this is also we don't know the next one is gas inlet so gas inlet is g this variable is 1 so g is common so g they have given this is 1.2 kilo mole per minute 1.2 kilo mole per minute then next one is mole fraction of component a in the gas inlet is ya1 ya1 they have given that is 6 volume percentage in the air means 6 divided by 100 so nearly you will get 0.06 then equilibrium mole fraction of component a in the gas inlet which is xa1 star is equal to how much we don't know we have to find using henry's law then next one is gas liquid liquid outlet so l is equal to we don't know the next one is xa1 mole fraction of component a in the liquid outlet this also we don't know the next one is equilibrium mole fraction of component a in the liquid outlet is ya1 star this also we don't know then gas outlet g is equal to 1.2 same initial uh, whatever we have used that is 1.2 kilo mole per minute then mole fraction of component a in the gas outlet is ya so this is 2 variable 2 ya2 is equal to they have already given so water flow rate to gas flow rate is 1.4 so that is l by g is equal to 1.4 they have given and outlet gas concentration is 1.5 volume percentage means 1.5 divided by 100 is 0.015 then equilibrium mole fraction of component a in the gas outlet is xa2 star is equal to we don't know we have to find using henry's law constant so henry's law constant also they have given h is equal to 1.3 then height of your column is 100 cm then diameter of the column is 2 cm they have given so this is all the given data now what we have to find we have to find the mass transfer coefficient calculate the overall mass transfer coefficient so how to calculate this one so we have a tower balance data tower balance uh, uh, equation we have okay tower balance equation is i have given in the slide also here so na bar is equal to g into ya2 minus 
y a1 is equal to l into x a2 minus x a1. This we can use directly here. Or we have derived already that one, so it is not coming here. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we have to use this one. N a bar is equal to g into y a one minus y a two is equal to l into x a two x a one minus x a two x a one minus x a two. Okay, this we have to use. So in this data, whatever we know, we only know g. We already know. Okay, g into y a one minus y a two. So how much this is? G is equal to one point two, and y a one is point zero six minus y a two is this one point zero one five. So now, how much you will get this one is equal to y a one. Bar. So this is, is equal to n a bar. You can equate this one to this one, or you can equate this one to this one. So the data for G gas space is already there. So that's why we can use n a bar. We can find out. So you will get the units in kilo mole per. So this 1.2 is in minutes. So kilo mole per minute you will get. So how much this is? Okay, nearly you will get 0.054 kilo mole per minute. Or otherwise, we can estimate in seconds. Okay, kilo mole per second. So how we can do kilo mole per second? One minute is equal to 60 seconds. We know that one. So minute is there. So this minute you have to multiply with 60. So here we have to divide with 60. Is equal to nearly you will get. So this is nine into ten power minus four kilo mole per second. Okay, is that clear? Do you understand this one? Or shall we do in the next class? Clear. Okay, then I think time is there. Four minutes are there. Okay, then uh, we have estimated what is rate of loss or that flux per unit width or mole per second. Then what is area we want? Area is equal to pi into dl. What is this pi into dl? Pi into diameter of your Tube already they have given wetted wall tower two centimeter, so that is two centimeter two into one centimeter is equal to ten power minus two meter, or we can say one meter is equal to hundred centimeter. That is ten power minus two into length of your tube is hundred centimeter is equal to hundred into ten power minus two. So you will get around something in meter square. You will get. Okay, then around this one is point zero six two eight meters square. You will get. Then next we know that N A is equal to. N A bar is equal to K O G into this is N A is equal to okay, sorry N A is equal to K O G into delta Y L N or K O G into delta P L N we know that one but we have here N A bar we have so N A bar will have a units of mole per second or kilo mole per second but N A will have units of kilo mole per meter square second. 
if you divide this na bar with meter square then you will get this unit or otherwise if you multiply this na into area then you will get kilo mole per second so we have to multiply this equation with area that is na bar is equal to kog a into delta y ln is equal to kog a into delta p ln so we can do this one so area that's why we have to find out the area of your column okay we will continue this in the next class Yes, yes. Sir, can you post this one note, sir? Yes, I will post. I will post. No problem. Okay, I will post. And see it also, sir.